Hi there, Derek here. I am gonna show you the easiest piece of motorcycle maintenance that I've ever done on a motorcycle. I have a 2014 KTM 1190S. Uh, I got about 20,000 miles on it, and it had a little bit of a fork seal leak, and the front brake pads got some oil in it, and just aren't working, don't feel as good, so I wanted to change them out. I bought new brake pads a while back, and I thought this was gonna be a hard job, and I am totally surprised at how absolutely easy this is to complete. Literally four minutes uh, to complete this. Very, very simple. Let me show you what you're gonna need. So one, you're gonna need your new brake pads. I picked these up at the KTM dealership. Those are the new ones there. Tool-wise, you're gonna to need two items. You're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers, and if you've got bad eyes like me, you're gonna need some reading glasses, or might need some reading glasses. The, the parts, a couple parts on it are kind of small. It just helps out. So let me show you what we've got going on here. So when I first had these sitting on the shelf, I thought we were gonna to have to take the whole caliper off, unbolt it, and pull it apart, put everything in there. These are way, way, way simpler than that. So their needle nose pliers is what we've got. We've got two pins right here. This one and this one that hold the brake pads in place. They have a little um, cotter key pin on it right there. And so I turn it and I can see, you can just see the top of it right there. I reach in and pull that out with my needle nose pliers. You can see it there. I'm just gonna set that in my cup. Do the same thing on the other one. And you can almost do this without the tools. It's, it's that easy. Set that one in there. This cover pulls off. You'll notice right here on the back of the cover, there's an arrow that points which way is up. Just look at that. You don't have to go on the other side to look at the one like I did with the first time I did this. And then uh, this is what we do. I just put the needle nose pliers on here. You don't have to pull real hard. They're gonna just slide right out. Pin pulls out. Pin pulls out. Set that down. Cover comes off. Set that down. I've already got the new brake pads in here to show you. Now, if your pads are worn down, you're gonna to need to retract the pucks in here. So the really easy way to do that is, if you've got a pair of needle nose pliers, just set, the, set the, the tips of it between there and pull them apart is one way. The other thing that I did is I just grabbed it with the needle nose pliers and on the caliper and just pulled it out on each side. That'll retract, retract the pucks back in there. Pull your brake pads out. If it's really dirty in there, you're gonna to wanna to clean it out. Mine were pretty clean. And so I just slid, it back, slid them back in about where they need to be. If you push them in too far, you can just reach in behind the caliper here and lift them back out. Put my cover back on, my little cover there, arrow pointing up. Reach back in, get my guy in place here. And when you're putting it in, if you'll put the hole facing straight up, you won't have to bend all over and look for it when you go in. So now we're just gonna push these in. We're just gonna push these in. Huh. There we go, drops in. Drops in. Take my little clip. Clips in. This guy here, we're gonna turn just a little bit to have better access to the hole. And then the last thing I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna turn that clip up. The cover has a little protector that won't let the pin come out. And on this one here, I'm just gonna turn it 90 degrees there to where it's facing up. So they're completely installed. The last thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just give the front brake lever. You're gonna need about four pulls and it's gonna be tight and it's ready to go. That way when you pull out of the driveway and go to grab the front brake, it doesn't come to the, the grip on you. So literally a four minute uh, install, anybody can do this. Have your back brake pads uh, ready, needle those pliers, four minutes, you're good to go. Very simple, easy maintenance.